Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to Let's Grow Annual Challenge Day 28. Day 28 already. We're almost through the first month of our daily challenge. Now today we're talking about the sixth step of our growing process, which is to never quit, never give up. Never quit, never give up. I'll make a new graphic of this once I decide on the growing acronym for sure. And we'll have just the short version. We'll just talk about every month as we go through this process and apply this process to a certain area or aspect of our life. Uh, and I'll share a tool that goes right along with that. Well, today, never give up, never quit. I think never quit because it's shorter. And our next one starts with G. So how do we do this? How do we be resilient? How do we adapt? How do we focus on adaptability and resilience when it comes to growing and getting what it is that we want in life. One of the most important things for us as human beings, I don't know if you've ever set a goal. We set a bunch of them last year. And I have found from my own personal experience in the past that when I set a goal, even before I achieve it, when I'm 100% certain that I'm going to achieve it and I'm running it to the fin or I'm getting to the finish line, close to the finish line, I have to set the next goal, the next thing that I want to work toward because I get demotivated. I, I feel happy and excited for like a very short period of time, considering how much time and energy it took me to achieve that goal. The amount of time that I feel awesome about it, I've learned is really, really short. So say I had a goal to, to set up a business. I set up the business. It was successful. It's rocking, rolling and automating. And it might've taken me three years. Well, you'd think that I'd be happy for three years and, and, keep growing that business for three years, but I find that that demotivates me and I need to have the next project in mind and be working on that even before I finish the first one. That's just me and we're all different. So we want to, <clears throat> in order to be adaptable and resilient, know what our process is and how we feel and how things work for us. I hope that was a good enough example for you to uh, know that each and every one of us has to tweak everything we learn and experience and we get to decide what it means. So I get to decide what that means. Maybe that means I'm restless. Maybe that means I didn't set a big enough goal. I don't know. But I just know that for me, I need to set the next one. So in this step, one of the things that I can guarantee you, and there aren't very many things that are guaranteed in life, except change is, is a guarantee. No matter what happens, no matter where we are in our life, no matter how good or how bad things are going, things are going to change. Everything changes all the time. Look at the seasons, our life, the world. Uh, our health, any area of our life changes all the time. And we can either set visions and progress in the way we want it to go, or we can just see what happens based on external factors and then just roll with it and react. I found that being reactive versus being proactive and creating what I want is really, really stressful. And I don't know about you, but I don't like stress. Stress doesn't uh, play very well with me. So today our action item is to Put in place a couple of things so that you won't quit. You won't give up. One of the biggest ways I find that I won't give up is if I have a strong motivation and a strong internal reason for why I'm doing something. Why do I want to progress and grow? Why do I want to maintain my ideal weight? If I ask myself the why several times and I get deep down to why I really want that and why it's important to me and the impact it'll have on my life, I don't have any trouble when, when something doesn't work out, if I try a new exercise and I get hurt, I just keep moving forward. If I uh, try a new diet or new eating plan and I gain weight, that's the opposite direction I want to go. It doesn't feel like progress. Well, I could just throw in the towel and quit. And when I was younger, I used to do that. I would yo-yo diet all the time. I'd go on a super strict diet for a while, then I'd fall off the diet and then I would just give up and quit. Well, then after a while doing that, I realized that didn't work for me. So then I would go right back on the next day. And that usually worked pretty well. You can, you can miss a day here and there. That's why they have so many diets and plans that allow you to have cheat days, right? Because your body will get used to a certain level of intake otherwise. And I'm not going to get into diet and nutrition, not my area of expertise. Got a lot of experience personally in it, and I know how it impacts me, but not my area of expertise. And that's not what everybody's working on for growth with respect to this time through the growing process. That's just mine. So guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page is a write-up with this. I think we've got, I can't remember whose story is there today. 
that's the problem when you share a lot of stories you forget who's you did for what day so i can't remember who's this there today but there's a story that goes along with it an example of applying resilience and adaptability to uh <clears throat> i want to say wanda i could be wrong it doesn't matter but there's a story there too uh if you have any questions just ask if you're struggling with well just share your tell me what happens with you and the, the part you're having a challenge with, and we'll see if we can't brainstorm together a way to set up a contingency plan. Uh, this is what I do if I if this doesn't work. This is what I do if I uh, stop following the process that I'm following, etc. We want to have some contingency plans in place. So we can be adaptable and resilient because we know no matter what, nothing's going to go according to the way we exactly planned it because there's too many external factors for us to ever consider the most important thing is to keep moving forward making progress and taking action and seeing how it works for you and do more of what works and less of what doesn't work seems really simple right but it's a lot harder to apply in life all right have an awesome day and i'll of course be with you tomorrow